In this quick After Effects tutorial, I will show you how to turn any boring logo into this nice shiny and metallic looking logo in After Effects. And as you can see, it has this amazing look and it's also animated so it's just shining a bit and it's just really cool. So let's just go right into it. So let's make a new composition and first of all we need our logo. In this case I'll just use an editor's logo and make sure it's a transparent PNG file. But otherwise that's good. And let's also add a background for this example. I'll just go with a dark blue one. And yeah, now let's bring the logo on top, obviously. And for this tutorial, you will work a lot with the layer styles because these are just perfect for styling. And yeah, the first one that we will apply is the gradient overlay. By default, as you can see, this will look quite weird. So let's just open this up and hit edit gradient. Let's go to the first color and put in a light gray in here, just like this. Then click a little bit to the right, like 25%. And let's put a uh, bright gray in here, almost white, but not 100% white. Then let's go to the middle, click here to make a new color stop and put in a yeah, light gray again. Then click again in here and put in a white color. And then let's go to the last one and put in a gray here. So basically it's just a gray, white, gray, white and gray again. And we can just hit OK. And as we can see, we already get this nice gradient effect, which looks already kind of metallic. And then we can also right click again, go to layer styles and add the bevel and emboss effect. By default, this will already look good, but sometimes I like to open this up and just increase the size to something like 10, but that's maybe a bit too much. So let's just go with seven for this example. And this looks good. We can also add another one, which is the inner glow effect. And we can just apply it and open the settings up. By default, that will have a yellowish color, but let's put in a 100% white in here. And as you can see, now we have like this white outline on the edges, which just looks really cool. But again, in here, we could increase the size to something like 10. And as we can see, this just looks amazing. And yeah, now this won't make a big difference, but we should also add um, a drop shadow effect. And we won't see it that much because the background is quite dark. But usually, yeah, now you could see a drop shadow just will round it up and will make it look really cool. And that's it for the layer style. Now we can look into the animation. For this one, we can just apply a light sweep effect. So just search for light sweep. And before you apply it, let's first of all go back to this layer and right click it and pre-compose it. And make sure that these settings in here are selected. So these down here, not this one. And hit OK. And now we can apply the light sweep effect. Because otherwise it will be overshined by the layer styles. And yeah, now we can see we get this little dot in here, which we could move around. And as you can see, this will animate this shining thing. And let's just put it to the right where we can barely see it and make sure we add, we are at the beginning of the composition or wherever you want this to start. And then we can put in a keyframe at center, then go to the end or wherever you want it to end and pull this to the left. And that's it already for the swipe animation. I hope you enjoyed this one and see you next time.